Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this, it is Saturday, June 29th, 2024. I have some errands to run today and I figure in between doing those errands or kind of boring things around town, was traveling for a couple weeks, got back in town. I am leaving in the very near future after a few days. I'm still here for a few days or more and then I'm leaving again, then coming back and leaving again. It's just the rest of the year, it's gonna be pretty travel filled, but in between travels, gotta take care of some stuff, run some errands, things like that. That's what I'm gonna do today. And then I'm also going to pepper in a little bit of other things, wearing an appropriate shirt because I am going to Disney Springs to check out. I am curious, I haven't seen anything online about Tiana's Bayou Adventure merch, which opened officially yesterday. Being at Disney Springs at World of Disney, so I'm gonna pop into WOD, I guess that's the WOD, and see if there's any Tiana's merchandise because I failed to get the little ride vehicle that had the Easter egg on the front it wasn't an actual egg. It was the Br'er Rabbit on the front of the log, which isn't on the current ride. So I think they put that in there on the new version of the, of the toy just to see if anyone noticed. And I noticed, and I think a lot of other people noticed as well, but I forgot to buy it. So I'm gonna see if they have that at World of Disney. And then these shoes that I am wearing, I've been wearing the On Clouds lately. I've had these for a few months are starting to get holes in them. They're starting to tear. They should tear there. And there's a couple of holes right there. Look at that. They're falling apart. They're ripping out at the seams over here, over here. Granted, I do, I do walk a lot. A lot every day. And these, I don't think are supposed to be worn as daily walker shoes, but they're so comfortable that I use them to walk daily in. So, I'm gonna go purchase another pair, see what they can do about these. If nothing, then I'll just buy another pair, buy a couple more pair, because I like these shoes. I'm inviting you to join me, so do that over at Springs. And then I'm also gonna check, go over to Hollywood Studios and get a new popcorn bucket that I saw on my buddy Kevin Heimbach's channel of the Toy Story truck. I think I'm gonna go buy it. Join me. Shall you? I think a good game plan would be to start off with Springs and then from Springs, pop over to Studios. Do Springs first, get a coffee at that Starbucks and then hit World of Disney and the shoe store. I'd say probably 19 times out of 20. That's just an, an average, an approximate guess. I park in the orange garage and that's because I usually am pulling in from this direction. And I always, well, probably another 19 out of 20. Well, probably more like 17 out of 20. I park on the roof because I'm here a little later, but it is scorchingly hot outside. I don't want to come back to my car, you know, squelteringly hot. So I think I'm going to park on the second to top level instead of all the way at the top. That way it gives my car a little shade. I'm going to park in L4 instead of L L5. That's a rarity. L4, row seven. In the shade, out of the heated elements of the central Florida sun. It has been warm already this summer. Oh, look at this exit sign. Oh, I probably can't even see it. It's so shadowed out under here. It's like swaying in the breeze. Look at it, moving right there. Well, you might not be able to tell if it's moving. Let's move it a little bit. The balloon is grounded at the moment where it could just be parked. It might launch up. Maybe it's just loading gas on. Current temperature at 241. I typed in studios because it's pretty much right next door to where I am at Springs, close enough. 91 degrees. It'll rain a little bit later and overcast. And I said it is overcast. And doesn't look like it's gonna be raining as much today as it did yesterday. Yesterday it rained a lot in the afternoon. In fact, I was lucky to be able to do Tiana's in an early virtual queue boarding group because shortly after I exited the ride, the ride went down for a pretty good portion of the day. To be honest, I don't even know if it opened up later at night. And then this morning I was reading some reports online that Tiana's didn't even open up for the first few hours 
that the park was open for whatever reason. Yeah, the last time I was over here was the opening night of the drone show. Is that like three weeks ago or so? I rarely will come out here during the, the daytime hours. Usually it's dusk, dusk and later in the afternoon, but I'm here during the day right now. Yeah, look at that, it's like a beacon. Not necessarily their logo, but just those words, this that word, C-O-F-F-E-E. -E. Hopefully they, well, I know they have piping hot. It's piping hot outside weather-wise, but also my coffee is gonna be a warm. They have a, star, they have a reserve in here. This is a Starbucks reserve location. Not all of them have it, so I think I'm gonna get one of the reserve flavors. All right, the only one they have in stock right now is the Columbia, which has a toasted pistachio and salted caramel flavor to it, so that's what I'm getting. The regular coffee, but it just has hints of pistachio and salted caramel. And while I'm waiting, I've never noticed this mural in here. It's this bird. It looks like it has like a coffee cup blender up there or something. I don't know, it has a beak. I don't know if it's a bird, but it definitely has a beak on it. And I do believe that the balloon, I'm looking out the window, there's this big uh, big bay window here. It looks like they are tying down the balloon, so it might be too windy. They have the cast members over there tying it down with the rope, so the balloon is grounded for now. Not that I was gonna go on it today, but yeah, just point it out. All right, successfully got my coffee. I just noticed a sign over here closed due to high winds. Also something very interesting. So when you go to the parks, when you go to any of the Walt Disney World parks, you go to Joffrey's, they will let you tip on the credit card machine. You can tip a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, which I usually will throw a little tip on there. Also, when you go to Starbucks at any of the parks, anything on property at the Walt Disney World parks, from what I've seen, you cannot tip on a credit card machine. However, when you're here at Disney Springs, you are allowed to tip on the credit card machine at Starbucks. For whatever reason, you can here. Now over inside World of Disney now, I'm gonna see if they have, oh, they, uh, July 4th is right around the corner and they already have their patriotic merch displayed up in here. Well, I think they've had these for a while, but they have them in the forefront on the little end caps. You can't really, you really can't beat the traditional Mickey style, ringer style t-shirt and you know, the traditional Mickey logo where you've got the one leg kick back. I like that little, little like tote bag there. And I don't know if it's just my imagination playing tricks with me, but there is definitely a very chocolatey smell over here with this merchandise. I don't know if they're pumping in smells, maybe because when I see this, I just think of something chocolatey. Because there's like some chocolate ears right here. I also asked a cast member if they had a the Tiana's Bayou Adventure that opened yesterday. Any merchandise in here? She goes, she does not think so, but she thinks only at Magic Kingdom is where it is. So I don't think I'm gonna find any at World of Disney. Take a look up here. There is a Clarabelle shirt right there. Right over there. Clarabelle is featured on her own shirt. It's pretty nice. I don't see too many Clarabelle shirts. Still a really big display at all the play in the parks stuff right here. Look at Donald and Goofy, how terrified they are like the Haunted Mansion ghost. Oh, these light up. You know, I've seen these on some of the displays. I didn't realize they lit up until now. It is a light up balloon, and that one is illuminated right over there. All right, just gonna carry on and continue over to the shoe store, the, I don't know what it's called. It's like a run store down here. Ah, uh, there it is right there. It is called Fit to Run. Even though I've just been, I'm walking, I still am going in the store to buy shoes. All right, I purchased a new pair of shoes, same brand. I'm wearing the, the old ones here. They said that these are not no longer something that they carry. I guess they've been upgraded a little bit into a newer model. So I got a, a different style, but basically the same shoe, same same uh, same shoe pattern and same shoe size. I also had some other brand shoes in there that I might try at some point too, but I kind of like the way these feel. But I might go back to my Sacconis as well, or so Sacconis. I, I call them Sacconis. I've been calling them that for a long time. But I do like the way these are. These, these fit. I'm sure you'll see these on my feet at some point. Probably tomorrow. By the way, I wear 12 and a half. These are Cloud Runner 2s. Price of those shoes, $160. I think it's about $160. Use them about three months. It kind of averages out to about $2 a day if you do the math on it. I always like to look at everything as a rental. Like, I you know, look at the shoes. Even though you get some pricey, you know, I camera equipment. I go through about two cameras a year. I do the math on that, and I average out about what I'm paying per day to use a camera for these videos. And I guess you could apply the same thing to, you know, shoes. Because you wear shoes out just like you use you wear cameras out. I go through a lot of both. I go through a lot of shoes. Ooh, 
You hear that thunder? There was a nice lightning strike over there. Happened a moment ago, and the thunder followed. Maybe I'll get another lightning strike on camera. Kind of surprised that these are even still running with all the lightning strikes that are happening around right now. Still got the Skyliner going. Hanging a left right here on Victory Boulevard. Heading over to studio, just waiting for the light to change. Hoping to get a hoping to get a little lightning bolt on camera. As I'm driving in between the lights, they're happening. But every time I'm stopped waiting for one. No strikes, no lightning strikes. One of these, if one of the Skyliner buckets got struck by lightning, you think it would go back in time? Probably not, it's not going 88 miles an hour. It's only probably going about eight miles an hour. Ah, there arrives the precipitation. The precipitation is now arriving. It's like the Skyliners have finally stopped too. So when the Skyliner breaks down, if you have no other way to get over to Epcot or your resort, you gotta take the buses, unless you rented a car, and, or had a car, if you live locally, had your own car, and parked over here. Oh, it looks like the trams already, they don't even run the tram. That's odd. Oh no, there's trams running, it's running up here. This one, I just passed this park, the other one's running up here. Also curious to see, it should be about time for the final Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular show of the day. You know what, I'm not even sure if they do it in a, a thunderstorm. They probably don't. They probably just won't do the last show of the day. It's 3.52 right now. Ooh, look at that lightning strike. I knew I'd get one, I knew I'd get one. Raindrops are falling on the ground. Might not, might, they might not show up on camera. But it's definitely precipitating at the moment. Not too bad though, not too bad. Oh, that thunder just reminded me that it could get bad. Man, there were a couple of massive lightning, lightning bolts that just flashed down right before I hit record. I checked the app and it only said that there was one Indiana Jones Epic Stunt Spectacular show at 1.15 today. I don't know if that's incorrect. Or since since that first show, they just decided to do away with all the other ones. Oh, oh, oh. There's lightning rods on the Hollywood Tower. It'd be interesting to see lightning strike the Hollywood Tower. There's also a lightning rod on top of the Mickey, right over there, that's perched above. Whoa! The crossroads of the world. Spot when you're first walking into CDS. <laughs> Out. Hope I don't get struck by lightning. It's starting to rain a little harder now. Ah, the things you go through to get a popcorn bucket. Not that I even need it, but I saw it. I was like, hey, you know what? Oh, look at that bolt over there. Give me them bolts. Ah, Florida summers, am I right? I'm gonna be soaked by the time I get up to the front here. I'm gonna be a little moist, a tiny bit damp. Soaked to the bone. Thunder rolls, the lightning strikes. Garth Brooks would be proud. Maybe, I don't know, I'm not, not inside Garth Brooks' mind, so I don't know how he feels. All oh, right, at the time, if you will remember your party, I'm dead. The evilest sky clouds 
of all time. Well, not of all time, but Florida's got some pretty evil, evil cumulonimbus cloud. I don't even think these would be classified as cumulonimbus. But they are pretty evil looking. An evil petting zoo? Those flags are waving in the breeze dramatically up there. A little windy. I think it's more rainy and lightning-y than windy though. Lightning in full effect. Come on, Mickey. Your lightning rod abilities can be put to the test. Yeah, imagine standing right here. So the Mickey right up there has a lightning rod. So basically that Mickey is there for the main reason of being a lightning rod. I mean, obviously you want Mickey up there because we are at Disney. But up there, that is a lightning rod on top of the crossroads of the world right there. So imagine what a lightning strikes that thing right there. Thunder is crackling out here. Yeah, to be completely honest, I really like rainy Disney days. Just something about a rainy Disney day that is like, I don't know, just something that's kind of enjoyable. I just like when it's precipitating, coming down at the parks. It's just kind of like a nice little, a nice little vibe when you're walking right down the middle of Hollywood Boulevard in a puddle, which I am doing right now. I am getting pelted in the streets here of Hollywood Boulevard. You got sunset attaches up here. One thing I'm really worried about is my camera. This is not a waterproof camera. But you know what? Heck it. Again, it's a rental. Not really, but yeah, it is. Judging it better. <laughs> yeah, do the math on it and what you pay per day. I go, like I said, I go through about two cameras a year. If it gets water damaged, there'll probably be more of a percentage of that. It's all part of the experience. It's all part of the experience of living in Florida. Whew, at least it's not, at least it's not, not hot out right now. No, I'd rather it be hot, I'd rather it be rainy and wet than it should be hot. That's just me. Oh, that was light. Oh, that was lightning. That was lightning. I gotta find this popcorn. Oh, I think the popcorn bucket is right there. Actually, it's right over there. No line. At least there's no line for the popcorn bucket. No line for the popcorn bucket. Right here. Hot, fresh, and tasty. Right here in front of the Chinese theater. There's no uh, nowhere to get out of the elements, but right there. It's drama. Uh, I just, I just asked and they said to pop those popcorn buckets that are every popcorn stand. I gotta get out of this freaking rain. What is wrong with me? <laughs> what am I what am I doing? What what I am uh I think I'm more wet right now than I was yesterday being on Splash Mountain and in that rainstorm yesterday, to be honest. Kyle will give me the ability to do a little a little look. Oh, this is very echoey underneath the archway here. The, the, the world famous former MGM archway. Now Hollywood Studios archway. Everyone is over there underneath the Little Mermaid. Voyage of the Little Mermaid, which is getting a revamp very soon. So at some point, I'm gonna walk over here. There's no one in this line either. Hot and fresh popcorn. I can go get the, the popcorn bucket right over there as well. It's a quest, a quest for fun. We're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna be singing zippity doo out of our a-holes. You know that Clark grew as well, Fletch in general. So in Fletch Lives, he sang zippity doo da, and then in National Lampoon's Vacation, he made a zippity doo da reference. I think Chevy Chase really enjoyed Splash Mountain and Song of the South, don't you? I'm just waiting for a break. I can go over there and get the popcorn bucket, and then I can head out. I don't think Indy is having a show today. does not sound good. It's uh, four o'clock right now, five o'clock, 80, 100% lightning at uh, 5 p.m. So it's gonna be another solid hour, maybe hour and a half of this. That was the loudest thunder soak that I've heard so far, the one that just went by. Which means it's a perfect opportunity to go get that popcorn bucket right now. Why not? Why not? There's no one in the line. What am I, what's the worst that could happen? struck by lightning go back in time i got it they were starting to put the popcorn in it and i was like oh i don't need the popcorn that popcorn is going to be soggy and nasty in two seconds i just want this cute bucket again i saw this in kevin heimbach's channel he put a video up in the last day or so and i was like man i need one of those and i have a perfect spot at it spot for it inside uh inside my garage on the shelf yeah hopefully this does not act as some sort of a lightning rod metal conductor for the weather right here. I hope this right here does not it cause any issues. This is made of plastic. Ooh, ooh, this is made of plastic. However, this guy over here, which is like a, the same one, is in is in Warner Brothers in Burbank. It's the same recreation of that. And that pointed, 
I'm getting out of here. What am I doing? This Ooh. Oh, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Yeah. The Warner Brothers camera guy that's uh, over here at Hollywood Studios. So it's coast to coast. That right there might get struck by lightning. I don't want to be anywhere near that thing. Oh my goodness gracious. Everyone's heading indoors. I'm indoors right now. Underneath here. It is coming down. There is no one on the boulevard. They're making a run for it. They're making a run for it. They got their, they got their rain jackets on, their ponchos on. What if I get struck by lightning at Disney? Think you they give you anything for me? Would you get like a, a free lightning line? <laughs> it gives me word, meaning to the word lightning line. <laughs> All right, it's picking up now, which means it's time for me to go over to the next segment here. The next segment over here. I got the squeegee out. That's smart. The sque I have a squeegee in my garage. I bought a squeegee when I bought my house. I haven't used it since I bought it. Look at the palm trees up there. Swaying in the breeze. Coming down. I might stay in here for just a couple moments here. Just a couple minutes inside, just see what happens. I mean, I'm already drenched. Going to my car would not be that big a deal. The only issue is that lightning, honestly. Hey, open your umbrella. I'm good. I don't really want to get struck by lightning. Oh, they're going. Oh. Ah, uh, no, I'm good. I'm gonna wait for two seconds. They're crossing over. So that lightning is really. There's like like a one second delay between the lightning bolt and the thunder. I don't know what the ratio is, but I know like that's pretty that pretty dang close. I doubt anyone's mailing out any letters in this. Or maybe. A lot of people are crossing over to the other. What? Oh. Let's see if I can get across over to the other side. And see what's going on over there. Okay, that's, it seems like it's. it's I'm going. I'm going. I'm going across. I'm going across. I'm going across. <sighs> Made it in here now. Green alien right there. I almost want to go out there and like have him go right down Hollywood Boulevard and I can take, I have to hitch a ride with him back to my car as it goes down a semi-empty -em Hollywood Boulevard. This awning is a good protection for lightning, right? I mean, this, I don't know. I think if you're under, if you're under anything, if it protects you from the rain, it can protect you from the lightning. I, I, I don't know if that's true or not. I'm not a scientist, but yeah. I got, the, I got this though. This right here is not conducting any light. However, those trash cans right there might. So they could, it could hit that. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm not an expert. I'm not. A, I'm not a, a meteorologist of any sort. Don't listen to any. Don't don't take my opinions for anything. Maybe. Just take them with a grain of salt. Because oh my gosh, people are just walking right right out in that stuff. This is a doozy. This is definitely a doozy. This is what happens. What happens in the rain in a storm in Florida at Disney World at Hollywood Studios? This is your answer. Ooh, another awning area over here. A lot of the people are kind of over in this section too. A lot of people are also over there. I'll tell you my next step might be crossroads there heading out and then over here. This is also a good spot over here where the super service area is. Or I can go over in the Sitquahangas, one of a kind, Tinseltown photos. I could do that. I could do that. Goodness, this was, I looked at the weather app earlier and it said it was only going to be a, a slight chance of a thunderstorm. This is more than a slight chance of a thunderstorm. Oh my gosh, it's coming down harder than it was. I'm going to try to make it to Sid Quahangas. I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to make it to Sid Quahangas over there. You know what? Heck it, I'm going in. I'm going in. Oh, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to sit with Hanga. I gotta see, see. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. I'm very soaked. Whew. You're dry. Oh, you're smart. You're smart. I've been out. There. I've been out there getting this. The things we'll do for a popcorn bucket. <laughs> and one thing that's really cool about this place is all the stuff they have outside. But also, if you stop inside. You so back back when the MGM first opened, they had a lot of different items in here that you could purchase autographed items on the walls. Those autographed items are no longer for sale. They sold all that off, turned it into a photo pass place, but they still have the items on the walls from back in the day, which is kind of a neat little thing a lot of people don't realize inside inside the place. So pretty neat. Take a look at this. Hollywood Starland has all the different stars on it over there. Looks like that's, uh, is that Jack Benny on there? I can't tell some of these. My eyes are completely waterlogged right now, but they have a lot of the, I guess that's like a map of Hollywood, and they have the old film reels right over here, right over here as well. And obviously, Sid Quahangas is a merging of two names. Sid Grauman, who, you know, for the famous Chinese theater, and then Quahanga, which is a, a famous name in L.A. as well. And Quahanga Boulevard connects with Hollywood Boulevard. So this is Sid Quahangas. The neon still, still a kicking, even though the lightning is out in full effect. All right, I guess I could show this off a little bit more while I'm kind of stuck underneath here. You got the delivery shuttle little lanyard here that goes onto this. You got the Pizza Planet rocket up there on the side. You got the little green aliens in the back that are all around the back there around the back side of it. Now the popcorn goes in here, which I opted not to get the popcorn because it would honestly have been destroyed. I can't even get that open now. But I think that pops open and the popcorn goes in there. And then underneath it has batteries in there. We put the batteries in, the lights in the front light up, which I'd probably get electrocuted if I tried to like put the batteries in and turn it on now. And it looks like the little, he's got a little plastic thing on his hat. You can take that plastic thing on. He's got the little red cap on right there and that's it right there that's the popcorn bucket and right there in my garage i have some cabinets and i ended up getting another hollywood studios bucket on may the 4th star wars day back in galaxy's edge they had a damaged stormtrooper helmet that i have so this is going to go next to next to that so now that i have a, a house i have room for stuff so i think anytime i see a popcorn bucket that i really like i'm going to end up buying it uh, hopefully next time it won't be in a lightning storm all right, made it to the next section underneath the fans right here. Bucket here, soaked out bucket. Now there is an area here you can stand in the elements or you can stand underneath this. So I'm choosing to stand under this. Yeah, there's definitely water leaking into my shoes now. These are the ones that have the holes in them. It's like a nice little little puddle going on over here. She's wearing Crocs, that would be the, that's the game plan. Have some Crocs or flip-flops on would be uh, smarter than what this is, but thankfully, I got uh, can, not too far from my homestead. I can go take a nice warm shower and uh, take off these wet clothes. Enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs> uh, you got you got one of those popcorn buckets too. I'm not the only one braving a lightning storm. Lightning storm. Oh wow, wow, wow! Right there. I missed it, but that was a that was a bolt and a half. That was a bolt and a half right over the top of the old movie land. I love the old original MGM. This gift shop has been here since day one. It still has the old, the old neon. Man, this is a day. All right, I'm going. This is one of the rare times you will not see a guard right here. <laughs> you will not. There's not. You will not see a guard right there. Usually, it's right underneath there. They're like, nope, we're good. We're good. Just uh, we'll take it to the honor system, and no one goes in the exit. Original. There used to be two entrances in the studios. The one was over here, and the other one was over here. That's where the bag checkpoint was. Now it's just not being utilized anymore. It's back in the day. Uh, utilizing, utilizing it for another brief moment. I'm doing this in segments. I'm just doing this in segments. Look at this, like a little river. It's like a river coming down here. Look, <laughs> hold on. A star. Yeah, they, uh, obviously no Skyliner. Skyliner definitely not operating right now. You know what? I'm going for it. That's the worst gonna happen. Yeah, I know. Thank you, though. She just let me know my shoe's untied, but I don't really want to stop and tie it. 
Yeah. I guess they're probably gonna have to though. Don't go and trip and slide on this like a slip and slide. Or a wet banana. I was team wet banana back in the day. Actually, I wasn't even team wet banana. Wet banana was like the downgrade from the slip and slide. Slip and slide was the, the number one top tier. Then there was the wet banana. Different off-brand. It was like kind of like the generic version of the slip and slide. I was more team just take a, a plastic tarp, throw it on a lawn, and then just use some like regular like like spikes that you would find at a camping store, clamp those down, and then spray it down with the hose. That's the team I was on. Then you'd slide and hit one of the camping spikes, tear a big gash in your arm. It was all part of the experience. How is this camper still working? Thank you for visiting Disney's Hollywood Studios. You're welcome. You are very welcome. Look at me. Just all for this. My, I've got water in my eyes. I am soaked to the bone. I did it though. This is the cleanest popcorn bucket. The cleanest popcorn bucket in the history of popcorn buckets. It is been sanitized rainwater. Uh, oh. I don't remember where I parked. Dang it. I don't remember where I parked. That's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video of the vlog.